Hello everybody, welcome back, and I am the Chornik, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to tackle Pokemon Sun and Moon, I almost said XY, Pokemon Sun and Moon, anime episode number six. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode, I guess you could call it a Sophocles episode, His ba like, or you could call it a filler, maybe? I, I'm kind of split between the two, because not many people are talking about this episode this morning, and not many people are like going crazy about it. So I'm guessing that people are going to mainly think about Sophocles as a filler character, which I kind of understand. I mean, most of the time, like, the, the female characters are the majority, like, of the actual episodes, the ones that are not filler, mainly because people perceive that as that because Ash is, like, the main male character, so I could kind of get where they're going with that. But this episode, nonetheless, was actually really, really funny. Like, it was actually just overall, like, just fun. And, like, the, the jokes and, like, the slapstick comedy that they tried to play into the anime, it didn't make sense. Like, everyone's, like, emotions and, like... What went on in the attention to detail was very, very precise in this episode, nonetheless. In a way, it could have been filler, kind of considered filler, but it was kind of for a Sophocles-based episode, right? But I guess you could call it a filler episode, and I don't do too many of these filler episodes, but this one was... They did it well. I mean, they did this filler well. It was enjoyable to watch, nonetheless, so I decided to do a review on it. And, ladies and gentlemen, the many different things that happened in this episode where they were just like... <laughs> where Ash had to like learn how to cook and stuff and he messed up and he ended up barfing all over Pikachu and all those times with Rowlet in the book bag when Ash was about to hit his back on the ground Rowlet would be like oh shoot and he'd like fly out and the, in the very beginning of the episode when he was on top of the bookcase and he was like sleeping he started tilting over and then he fell onto Ash and <laughs> Ash like burst burst out his uh the juice from his mouth and stuff like that that was actually kind of funny um, and yeah, also the time with Rotom, like, picking up to Tokidomaru, and Pikachu's trying to help him out with his tail to bring him up to the vents, and Rotom, like, just flew him up there, and Pikachu didn't notice, and so, <laughs> that was honestly pretty funny, and at the very, very end, yeah, the, uh, Mimikyu wanted to destroy and kill Pikachu, so he knocked him off the edge, and, and then Tokidomaru ended up helping him out. By the way, Tokidomaru, I think that's what, I, I, I'm gonna call him that, because... That's how I've, I think his name is pronounced. I don't know how it's pronounced, okay, so I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, but the Tokidomaru guy, the little white, grayish Pokemon thing, and Pikachu, they had some kind of ship thing going on, you know what I'm saying, in this episode? I mean, if you're a fan of, like, Ash X Sophocles, then, well, uh, this was your episode, you know what I'm saying? But, like... Tokidomaru and Pikachu, no, like, that was, like, the ship in this episode. I don't know if... Is Tokidomaru female? Who knows? Probably, maybe, because Pikachu was, like, blushing when Tokidomaru was, like, on top of him, like, snuggling the heck out of him. <laughs> but pretty much Sophocles and Tokidomaru were, like, the main focus of this episode. They ended up defeating Team Rocket. To Team Rocket, like, shut down this mall. They didn't mean to. They didn't, like, mean to shut it down or something like that. They were just trying to hack into, like, the system and stuff. I think they were trying to get into a safe, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, they ended up... James, and or, like, Meowth bumped James into the panel because Meowth is, like, scared to death of Mimikyu. And the entire place shuts down. And so, like, that that's, like, the whole conflict within this episode is trying to get out of it, you know. And Ash kept running into walls while going through the dark and he didn't see where he was going and Sophocles was trying to help him and stuff and then Rowlet's obviously I just love Rowlet in his backpack dude that's honestly just so freaking funny I just can't I just can't it's so funny and then beware at the very end of this episode was probably the best moment ever I and mean, he just he just jumps and he like slams down the top of the roof and then he looks up at you and then he's just like yeah! He, like, he grabs Team Rocket and runs off and like jumps from building to building like freaking Spider-Man or something. Oh my gosh, beware, like again, beware is being like the, the Team Rocket blasting off um, gag pretty much at this point. But next week, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Litten episode, Ash catching Litten. Has to do with Alolan Persian, looks like that's something that Ash has to help Litten out with, you know? Litten looks like he's gonna get injured. But anyway guys, post your thoughts and feelings in the comment section below. Filler, perhaps, for a lot of people, but nonetheless, it was get You know, gotta give credit where credit is due. It was a decent episode. But next week, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get more, perhaps better episodes for you guys. Anyway, peace out! Thank you very much.